I've just ordered these batteries uh, and they came through really really quickly and in two days uh, and they are for the new Baby Hawk HD that's coming uh, my Christmas present and I noticed that they've got an XT30 on the end absolutely spot on so they'll go and fit in my standard XT30 charging board brilliant ah except these are a four cell and the charging boards are only up to three cell so <laughs> what are to do now what I do have for my other board uh, batteries is I've got my standard charging again here for the XT60 now what do you do do you buy an adapter for each one of these because if you've got three or four batteries which I bought for three um, do you start putting adapters on them or what do you do because these will allow up to six cell now I don't know if you've come across this problem um, I never even thought about it to be honest I didn't realize what, what, what was going to happen so what I've done is I have made some of these um, extensions and on the end of here we've got the battery connector will go in there and then your XC60 will go in there and that'll leave your little 4S connector to go in there and there it works so it's just something to be aware of <laughs> that you just don't know if you gonna have a charging board that's sort of gonna allow you to charge an XT30 with a 4S balance lead. Something to think about. And what I'll do is I'm gonna show you how I actually made these. Because I had the parts anyway. I had the wire, I had the connectors already uh, from the airplanes. So I'll show you how to make one of these. Okay, so what do you need to be able to make a um, a converter in effect, an extension and a converter for the 850mAh batteries and enable them to be plugged from an XT30 into an XT60 charging board with a 4S uh, balanced charging port. Well, you're going to need two pieces of wire. I, for I actually forget what size this wire is. I've got the uh, bag somewhere. I'll find it. I think it's 14. Anyway, you're going to need some wire. Uh, and you're going to need to cut the ends and tin them with your solder. You're going to need a male XT30. And you're going to need a female XT60. And then you're going to need some heat shrink as well to tidy up the ends. You're also going to need some decent solder and one of these little grabby things, no hands. Uh, and a reasonably decent soldering iron now i use this one on a 3300 uh, 4s battery and this soldering iron is absolutely brilliant it gets hot it's quick it's got a fantastic tip on the end and you can buy those separately but just brilliant so i obviously get on 400 degrees anyway so Let's quickly make one and show you how to get on. Right now, what I do is I use this piece of wire. Okay, it's not the extension we're making, but what it has got is it's got the XT30 on one end and an XT60 on the other. Because when you're soldering these things together, you want to put these two like that. And that way, when you heat up this end, it doesn't disfigure the pins in the other side. If you don't do that and you just heat up like this, then the pins in the end get bent and out of shape and you struggle to get the connectors together so try and remember that if you can it's just a bit of a bit of a help and the other important thing is if you look at these you've got a flat edge at the bottom and then you've got the rounded edge at the top now the flat edge is always the red wire that's the positive that's the negative okay so don't forget that otherwise you <laughs> you might end up with a bang so what we're going to do is just heat up here and tin these connectors here and I hope you can see that fiddly job very fiddly job to be honest with you but make sure you've got some solder and you your soldering iron is, is, is quite hot as you can see we're, we're at 400 degrees 
and we're going to be doing positive. So what I do is stick that in there, give it a few seconds, add some solder. And we're done. So that's what's one side done. And then turn it over. And that's that done. Okay, so now what we've got here is this end is tinned on the negative and the positive side. Okay, and that'll come apart. Careful, it does get quite warm. So that'll come apart. Okay. Now what we need to do is the same with this one here. So put that in there. Come round. We're going to do the negative side because that's the curved edge. Some decent solder, plenty of heat on. One. Flip it over. Two. Okay. Clean off your tip. Okay. Now, as I said, red goes onto the flat edge. And now this is a bit big for there. So all we're going to do is we're just going to trim this edge off a little. Now this is where you need more than one pair of hands because it can be quite awkward certainly awkward as I'm hoping to film as well so I'll see the best way for me to do this for on camera I'll put my glasses on actually so I can see what I'm doing oh that's better I can actually see now Okay, so that's one. Clean the tip. Flip it over. Okay. So what you need to do on that end now is before you forget, put some heat shrink on it. Okay. And quick tip for that is pop it up nice and tight. And just take your soldering iron. Just the button. Once you've done that, you can then basically just use the iron just to warm up your heat shrink. And that's done. Okay, so that end is completely done. That's one. We just need to do the same thing now on this end. So before you start to solder, get your heat shrink. Because the times I've forgotten this, and I nearly did it again, even though the heat shrink's right in front of me. Take your heat shrink, and then remember, the red goes to the flat edge here. Okay, very happy with that. And that's it, your lot. That's it done. So 
what we've got there now is a extension where you can plug your battery into that end and that end will now fit inside your XT60 balance charging port. All done. Hope that helps.